Good morning, Carlos. How we doing? Good, good, good. We're live on really? Facebook. We're live on Twitter. Some point in time, we'll get live on uh, LinkedIn and all those guys. I need coffee. Yeah. Carlos, yeah. yeah, I got mine. It's nice and warm. Indeed. Hey, uh, I wanted to talk. Sorry, we're a little late today, but um, I had to finish a couple of things I was doing and uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, you know, creating a schedule. And also what made me think about this is my dentist. So my dentist, Catherine, over at Dr. Days, you know, I had been fired by dentists before because it was hard for me to keep my appointments. I was always, you know, rescheduling and having things pop up and, you know, I was traveling. And this goes back many, many years when I was at Sprint, many, many years, right? From the 90s until 2000. And uh, one, of my, uh, one of my mates who sat next to me in the cube said, you know, well, you should check out Dr. Day. You know, they're pretty good, pretty flexible, understands, you know, you're a professional, you travel, blah, blah, blah. So I went over and checked out Dr. Day's office. And, um, and you know, the first thing, there was, a, there was a receptionist there. And the first thing she said was, you know, you know, well, I don't know why they fired you as a client. <laughs> Maybe we just need to work out a different schedule for you, you know, where one where I'll, if I have a uh, an opening, you know, or a cancellation and it's close or near to, you know, when your six month cleaning is, I'll just I'll just work with you, you know. And so that was I was willing to uh, accept that plan and she accommodated me. And basically what she does is she puts me on the schedule and and six months out and, and you know, hey, as we get close, she starts hitting me up and goes, is that date going to work? Is it going to work? Is it going to work? And if I if it doesn't work and I say, ah, I need to push it back, she'll just, she'll say, OK, well, I'll keep you on the cancellation list. And then she has a cancellation and she follows up with me. And uh, and then she follows up. All right. Like she just hit me with an email yesterday and she hit me with an email about 30 minutes ago and said, hey, I'll see you at 11. We're still good. Right. So her follow up is fantastic. It is fantastic. She has found a way to not fire me as a dental client um, and get me in every six months to get my teeth cleaning. And it's because of her follow up. She is impeccable with her follow up and she has a schedule. She has a plan. And um, and so I, I just wanted to, to talk a little bit about the importance of a schedule and, and, and a plan and approach. Um, as well, right? She has an approach. You know, I, I recirculated a, a video today of my son from uh, from baseball a couple years ago. And it's so funny because you'll see him, he gets his hands in motion. As the pitch get ready to come, he'll start, he'll he'll start to you know wind back. And that's all I was laughing because that was all a part of his approach. Like, you know, Mike McFarland from Mac and Sites. I'm rocking some old Mac and Sites attire right now. But Mac McFarland you know, from uh, Mackensites, he taught him the approach. You have to have an approach at the plate. And and watching that video reminded me of the approach, right? You got to have it. It's the same thing in our business. We have to have an approach. What is an approach? What is our plan? And how are we going to attack our follow up? Right. <laughs> so two great examples yeah. that I wanted to and share this morning about it. And that's a great, you know, even the dentist, personal life, you know, that's why everything in life, you know, everything, every part of what you're doing in life has got to be, you know, you can use what we talk about. You can use in personal life or business or, you know, whatever you do, you know, <clears throat> uh, you can use that follow up. You can use the, the you know, the system to, to um, make your day better, you know. Um, and, and, and keeping people in contact and keeping up with your family and keeping up with your friends, you know, uh, you could use it personal or business. I love it. I, I think it's great. Great opportunity. Yeah, it's, um, it, it's, it's great. It's great. We, we, um, you know, we have had many of um, examples of, of great follow-up, you know, and, uh, and systems and, um, and, you know, I failed and, and neglected to mention, you know, the dental approach and, and the approach, right? It's all about the approach. Like, what is our plan? Like, how do we schedule ourselves? How do we plan out our day? And what is our approach to follow up? So we have to have an approach to being successful 
and it has it has everything that has to do with an approach. Like, what's our approach? How we're going to approach our day? How are we going to approach our week? How are we going to approach our you know hitting our objectives and our targets? And um, you know, so we have like on the screen now a perfect example is hey, here's an approach. This is a sample follow up plan and approach that you can implement in order to be successful in your business. You know, I had a great conversation yesterday with a realtor down in Texas. And, um, you know, what came up was, how are you going to follow up with my people? Right. How if the people that I send you, how are you going to follow? How do I know you're going to follow up and how are you going to follow up with them? And, you know, what I did is I, I started talking about my approach. Like, you know, you send me a person, I save their number. I import them immediately in the HubSpot. I set a task follow up reminder. And then it pops up like these did right now and says, here are your tasks for the day. Follow up, follow up, follow up, right? I follow up. I copy the text or whatever communications that I have in terms of taking my notes. I send that to the realtor so they know that I'm following up. That's my approach. My approach is, my plan is to, is to A, document the referral, B, put it into a CRM so that I don't have to worry about for remembering it. I can forget about it today. It's going to come back to me. And then C, every day, do the same thing. I'm going to go through and look at my follow-up tasks that are due today. I'm then going to go and hit my people I need to hit. I'm going to send the emails and the text messages, et cetera, et cetera. That's my approach. That's my plan. And she was like, wow, I like that. Because most people, most lenders that I send leads to, I never hear from them again unless they unless they happen to get them approved. And and, and you got to realize that's what people don't understand is that when you get so many people – it becomes too much. You'll never be able to keep up with it. You'll never be efficient. You know what I mean? You'll never be able to follow up with everybody. I struggle. I struggle with the amount of people that I have when it comes to just setting quotes out and, and, you know, people that are, Hey, I want to quote, I want to quote for this. I want to do this. I get every, you know, little bit of jobs. I have papers that are on my desk right now that I still have to follow up with. But if I was to put them in the system and, and, and keep them, you know, they're in my, to-do list, you know, we're, we're developing more systems to, to make it more efficient, you know, because we're getting too many people. These jobs are getting way too far, you know, out of hand and we're just getting way too much and we just got to start isolating and it's getting away from us, you know, so we got to develop better systems and we got to develop better follow-up. We got to de develop better ways of, of sending out quotes in a timely manner and sending and, and responding to people and getting jobs done. So it, it's a it's a process. And this yeah. is a great process. Yeah, no, it is. It is. It, it's um, it's one of those things to where, you know, where you can get overwhelmed and then you start losing stuff and then you forget stuff. And, you know, just by following up, it's probably worth a deal a month, at least. Yes. Just by following up, it's probably worth <clears throat> a deal a month. And I asked this realtor, I said, how many times have you talked to someone who has come to you as a client that had a realtor previously? And she said, probably half of the time. And I said, well, why do you think they didn't go with that other realtor? And she said, because that realtor probably didn't follow up. Mm -hmm. Probably didn't follow up with them. You know, put yeah. them on a search, sent some things, set it and forget it, but didn't follow up. Right. And maybe the person marked, I like this house. And they didn't get it because the realtor didn't see it in time. And they decided I need to go with another realtor, right? Um, or they or they didn't take him serious. Yeah, yeah. You know, they didn't take him serious. You know, we have agents. I have agents that have been been wanting to join. You know, become a realtor, and and they say, you know, I went. I talked to this person, and they go and say, hey, you know, go go take your classes and and you know pass your tests, and then we'll talk. Well, then they never follow up with them. It's like they don't take them serious, you know, just that, you know, getting new agents. They don't. There's some people that are that are just ridiculously overwhelming. And there's some people that just don't even do anything about it. You know, there's no happy medium in there. And yeah. and, you know, and getting, you know, they there's a lot of people that don't take them serious. If, you know, hey, I need to get pre-approved, you know, they send them off to get pre-approved and then they forget all about them. Yeah. You know, how can you forget about somebody being in pre-approval, you know? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We have a absolutely. tag. We have a tag. It's called a tag in our in our CRM system that we can tag. You know, everybody goes in the system and they go all in there. But if I wanted to 
find out how many people we have in pre-approval status. I could just type pre-approval and or I can type uh, getting approved and and that that's all that whole list of people that we have that we put in there comes up. So I can look that at that on a daily basis. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. you just you got to you can't just you got to take everybody serious, you know, because yeah. there's some people who just don't. No, no, they don't. And, and that lack of follow up is, is lost deals and lost opportunities. And and so what we wanted to share, like, you know, what we always share is working off of this four dominant follow up strategies, you know, uh, creating a schedule that outlines when calls and emails and follow up should be happening. Like this is a, a great sample schedule. And I'll take this and I'll put this in the comments as well so that everybody has access to this. But this is a simple plan that you could develop um, once you have a method of capturing your leads, of course, once you have a method of, you know, putting them in the CRM and not just leaving them in your cell phone. I mean, listen, if my only method of capturing a lead is putting it in my cell phone, there's no way I'm going to be able to follow up with any level of success. There's nothing in my cell phone that's going to pop up and remind me that I need to follow up with that person on a regular basis that has the comments, that has the notes associated with, with my previous conversations, with who referred them, with what they might be looking for. There's no way, I don't care who you are, there's no way using just a cell phone is going to be able to do that because that's often the, the response that I get from people when they say, I say, how do you, do you have a CRM? No, I put everything in my cell phone. Yeah, good luck with that. There's no way that they're going to keep all that. So without a CRM, right. This follow-up plan is going to be very difficult to implement, but it's a simple, simple plan, right? Day one through day 20, call, email, text, whatever, right? This is a great, simple plan to be able to implement, and you don't have to use this one. You can, you know, cut it, slice it, dice it as you want to. But the key is, like, like you were saying, Carlos, you got to have a CRM. you got to have a system in play to be able to, to, to go back and implement it against this daily follow-up plan. And Gmail on your calendar might work. You know, yeah. I mean, uh, some people use their 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 Gmail and they use their phone book, you know, their cell phone, uh, you know, Gmail, and you can put your contacts in there. But you better use your that calendar, and you better update that calendar because using that calendar, you still got to be self motivated. Yeah, the, these I, I unless somebody could prove me differently, uh, Gmail, you still have to, uh, you still have to, you know, change. The follow up, okay, follow up, and you can remind you, and then you have to change it. Where some of these CRMs, like some of these ones, like you use, that it does it automatically for you, you know. And then when you do follow up, you know, it it will remind you, and then it it will tell you, hey, what do you want to do with this lead, you know? What are the notes? I'm sure Gmail probably has something like that, you know, the calendars. Yeah. But you better use something because there's no way you're going to remember every single person that you talk to. Yeah, and that's the key, right? Using something, having something in place. And once we have something in place, we have those natural reminders. And, and you know, there's there's people that, you know, I'll get I'll get them approved a couple of months after they've been referred to me. And the realtor sometimes has even forgotten, like, who that person, like, who is that? Well, you sent them to me a couple months ago, you know, and I just kept chasing them and chasing them and chasing them and chasing them and chasing them. Well, that's, that's the key, right? Because I, I want to continue to keep my pipeline built. And the only way I can keep my pipeline built is I know I'm not going to get a hold of everyone 100% of the time. And so I got to have a method and a system in place to follow up. And, um, and and this is what helps me get at least a deal a month is just being able to follow up, just having a plan, a method and approach to follow up. <laughs> but but that's what it's like, you know, even if they're not ready to buy today, people don't take them serious. So if you don't follow up, if you don't call them, if you don't keep them on your pipeline and you keep following up. That's how you get your deal a month is from previous people that you don't let go, that you yeah. take serious, no matter if they're buying today or no matter if they're doing business with you today or not, even if they don't, you better take them serious because someday they're going to fall in front of somebody that wants to, that will, that will um, sell them something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I always, I always say, you know, when I, when I worked at the car lot and I would tell my salespeople, it's like that person left and they're going to fall in, in front of a, a salesperson, you know, they're going to fall in front of somebody that's going to help them what they want and they need just because yeah. they don't buy a car off your car lot. 
just because they don't buy in front of you doesn't mean that they're not going to go somewhere else and find what they want. Well, why don't you help them find what they want? You know, go That's that right. step further because they're going to, they're going to run into, they're going to run into somebody that will sell them something. That's right. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I had a sales guy, I went and looked at a, at a Honda, um, Honda Odyssey and, you know, it was probably, I don't know, they needed to do some things with it. They had to clean it, blah, 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 blah. Two weeks later, I get a text from the guy. Hey, we have that Honda Odyssey that's ready. Do you want to come see it? You know, I was impressed. Two weeks later, mm -hmm. all I did is give him my card and told him, hey, let me know, you know, when you get a price on that, when you get ready to go. Two weeks later, the dude followed up with me. That's impressive. That's yeah. impressive. To me, that's impressive. Um, so I didn't particularly like that van, um, but he knows what I'm looking for. If he finds me a Honda Odyssey, I'm going to buy it from him because yeah. uh, if he follows up and he has the one that I want, I'm going to buy it from him because he's following up. So that's, that's key. Like business is there. Like it's easy. It's really easy. It's not difficult to, um, to, to build business. It's just about being a professional and following up on, you know, our, our activities, our responsibilities without following up, man. If you just follow up, we're going to run into deals. You're going to stumble into deals just by following up, you know? Right. Yeah. You'll get one or two extra deals that you didn't have before, you know, uh, You'll, you'll get some that you, you know, were working on or, um, you know, maybe thought you didn't, you weren't, you wouldn't get, you know, yep. and yep. you'll get them, you know, some, okay. maybe they didn't need it right then and there. But if you stay in front of the people, you know, they'll get it later. You know, I got I a lady, right, I got a lady right now, Carlos, that I've been calling since last year that, um, that says she's looking to sell her business, her cleaning business in May. I still been calling because May will be here very soon. And so, you know what? I'm going to get that business. She hasn't yeah. been ready, hasn't been ready, hasn't been ready now. It's, well, let me get with my attorney. Let me get with my attorney so that the narrative is changing. But guess what? I'm going to continue to call. I'm going to continue to call, right. continue to follow up. Because when she's ready to sell that business, I don't want her to someone to stumble on her or her to stumble on someone. I want it to be me. So I'm going to, I got to continue to follow up. If I want to net that, that deal and sell that business for her, I got to follow up. Right. And it's and there's, and there's things to do in between there. You know, yeah. I always find a reason to, to stay in contact with them all the time, every day. Yeah. You know, I I wouldn't say, oh, I'm six months out and then follow up and, and then, OK, put it in your calendar in six months, you know, in five months, you start following up with them or in five and a half months, you, you call them. No, I would call them every day. I would call them, you know, find a reason every month, you know, figure out if you can help them along the way, you know. Uh, you know, develop a relationship. But the thing is, is you can't just wait for six months and then call them, you know, five and a half months and say, oh, oh, so now are you ready? You know, I get my call. I get my quarterly calls from, you know, either financial planners or insurance agents. Hey, I just followed up with you. It's been, you know, six months since we talked. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know who you are. Oh, we talked six months ago. Let me think. Refresh my memory, you know, because... Yeah. It's like, who are you? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. If you're yeah. going to call me every six months, you know, yeah, I don't need that. You no, know, a, lot, a lot's happened in between six months. But yeah, yeah, yeah you're right now. So you're, you're absolutely right. Change. Yep. yep. You know, you're absolutely right. things yep. change. Two months later, I probably found somebody that I that, that can do my service, that knows who I am, that takes pride in it, you know? Yep. Yeah, I don't need I don't need somebody that's going to call me every six months that, you know, that's your dentist that does that. You know, yeah. that's the only yeah. person that, you know, yeah. that, that calls you every and, six months. And not, and not even and, and she doesn't even do it. She's she's hitting me. She's hitting me periodically in between. You're right. She doesn't wait six months. No, she could, but she doesn't. She's hit me periodically. How's that date looking, Steve? How's it? Because she knows. Things pop up my schedule. I'll do this, do that. I'll decide to go here, here. So she's not waiting until the month of the six month that my cleaning is due to hit me up. She's hitting me. Hey, you still looking good? You still looking good? Right. So, yeah, I mean, that, but that's, that's the discipline. That's yep. the discipline. So there's a discipline of being a professional. And, and that's the discipline. And people don't understand that, uh, you know, having your own business when you have your own business, you have to develop your own business, you know, yeah. 
these, you know, Walmart and, and Target and all these major, you know, Starbucks, they didn't start out. They have a business running and people go and work there. That's why I keep trying to explain people. People go and work there and you're told what to do. You do this, 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 and this. But when you're self, when you want to go out in the world and you want to be self-employed and you want to build a business like Walmart or like Starbucks or like any other store, you have to build up a, a good amount of people, you know, to have that kind of business. Yeah. You know, it's not just a, you just go to work and you work, uh, you know, you just work your nine to five and then go home, you know, or take a day off and, and not do anything. You know, you got to keep building up people all the time. If you want to have a business like these people do, or, or you know, and it, you just got to keep building it. It's, there's no way of doing it, you know, and you got to keep following up and you got to, you know, you got to have a plan. Yeah. If you don't have structure and plan, then it's going to fall apart on you and you're going to get, you know, you're going to go crazy and go different directions where you shouldn't be going. Yeah. And there's, and there's no easy way to success. I mean, it's, there's, it's a discipline. It's, it's a consistency. It's a grind. There's no easy way to success. You know, I see so many people trying to take a shortcut to, to get to a level of success and it's just, this just doesn't exist, you know, and, and, and <laughs> you, you know, you're not going to get people that are going to sit back and just call you constantly and go, Hey, I want to do this. or Hey, I want to buy from you. It just doesn't work that way. You know, there's yeah. no shortcut. You're going to have to grind it out. You're going to have to put in the work, follow up and, and make the effort. And, and that's how you get those things that happen to fall in, fall out of nowhere. But that's not because you just got lucky. Those things fall into your hand. Those deals fall into your hands and come out of nowhere because of the stuff that you're doing. There's no yeah. shortcut, right? No shortcut. It's like you got to put in some work. So, yeah. um, you know, once you understand what you got to do, then it's a matter of doing it right. There's the there's the competency versus the commitment. Competency. I know what to do. Commitment. I might not want to do it. <laughs> no excuse for commitment. That's there's right. no excuse for competency. You can go get the education. You go get taught. Mm -hmm. You can learn stuff. That's competency. There's no excuses for lack of commitment. Right. No. And that we can do 100 percent. And, and learning and education, you got to do it all the time, every day, every single day. You got to get better and you got to get better. You got to learn. You got to research. You know, my my son last night said to me, he goes, "When have you ever researched anything? I said, I looked at him and I'm like, <laughs> I research stuff every single day because he's trying to do a paper. And I'm or he goes, do you know how hard it is to research and find things? I'm like, uh, yeah, I research stuff every single day and i have to produce that what i'm researching right, right. you know you gotta use it yeah you gotta use it yeah yeah <laughs> good deal man all right well let me get out of here because i have an 11 o'clock dentist appointment i cannot miss okay. i cannot miss there's no excuses for me missing this appointment i've been adequately followed up upon i've been confirmed twice within the last hour so there's no excuse for me to miss it so it would be a commitment issue if I miss this, it'd be just simply a commitment issue. And I'm not having any commitment issues today. So uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to sign off and get myself out of here and go get that. Dentist, go get those dental cleaning that I have been adequately followed up with uh, with Catherine and Dr. Day's office. That's Dr. Right. Day's office. And in, in, it's in uh, it's in Prairie Village. Dr. Day's dental. If you need a good dentist, call Catherine. She'll follow up on you. All right. Carl. Right. Have a awesome. good day. My friend. Have a good weekend. You too. See you. Bye-bye.